on the uh, Beto exhaust, getting rid of that surface rust. Back home from Moonshiners, and I'm realizing that I didn't film an intro. What I did was fly with two PPG Smoke Chase cams on my wing at the same time, and the purpose of that was to compare the GoPro Hero 7 to the DJI Osmo Action as a chase cam. Since then, it's been a couple of weeks, I've had a lot of time to use the Osmo, and I figured it out, but at the time, I did not know really how to use it. So I had the Osmo on HDR mode, and on HDR mode, you don't get their uh, image stabilization, which is, I forget what it's called, like, it's not hyper smooth. Rocksteady, that's what it's called. Okay, so I didn't have Rocksteady turned on. So it's not a perfect comparison video because the Hero 7 was at 1080p, 60 frames a second, I believe, with image stabilization on it, which made a huge difference. And the Osmo was at 1080p, 30 frames a second without image stabilization. The reason I'm gonna still post this video is because I look at the footage from the Osmo and even without the stabilization on and half the frame rate, it looked amazing. The color was so sick and it's still a sweet comparison video. So I'm gonna fly again with this, do a part two this video comparing the cameras on the exact same settings and do the flight again but this is part one of hero 7 vs osmo action pbgsmoke.com chase cam here we go all right so it's uh friday morning at the moonshiners fly in which is the second day for me i got here last night and I started this morning off by locking my keys in my truck. And you can imagine it's kind of hard to get a locksmith to come by when you are in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, I missed, like, most of the morning flight here. But um, I'm going to try to get a couple of minutes in right here, see how it goes. But I got it unlocked, and should be able to get a couple of minutes in at least. So I'll be happy. Still looks nice up there. Clear prop. Oh my god, this is what I was hoping for, you guys. These mounts always have these fog layers that come in in the morning, and it's essentially a low-lying cloud, but it's really thin. So you get these VFR conditions, and it is amazing. It's like a, a wonderland up here, man. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. This is what I was thinking about when I thought about this flying. I was thinking I was going to get a morning like this. Look at this. Look at this. You literally climb 400 feet and you're above the clouds. This is amazing. It's flights like this where when I try to tell people about flying paramotors and like you can literally just fly over the clouds through the clouds around the clouds you know I, I don't know it's hard to explain this the videos don't do any justice oh my god wow look at this yeah buddy this is what it's all about Yeah. Hell yeah. What a day. Going through this cloud, baby. Let's see, everyone asks what it's like to fly through a cloud, let me tell you.
Um... It's cool, but it doesn't feel any different. Are these on? What setting is it in? 1080 60? Okay. This only do, does 1080 30. Wrong. Whatever. It should be fun. Clear prop. Okay. So we're getting ready to launch. Ross helped me out here. We're waiting for our buddy Gabe to get off the ground. The wind's coming out of the worst possible way. It's coming right over the crowd. It's rotary. Um, it's a pain in the ass. So I gotta launch to, toward the corner and make a left. <laughs> Me? I'm waiting for Gabe. Did you see what happened? Yeah, I came up and it went right to the wind. All right. Let's go across the one r runway, Ross. Yeah, let's go across it. You want to put it right on the edge of the runway here so it's flat? Yeah, lay it on the runway and aim it down the taxiway here. Actually, now Donald's there. Now the wind's coming that way. Now, yeah, it's coming that way now. Well, let's set it up that way. Now just go here. I'll run down the runway. Yep. There you go. This is the problem. Shifty winds and double chase cams. Pain in the ass. One chase cam is hard enough. Okay, clear prop. Clear.
They're both flying. Both chase cams. Alright. Well, that was a pain in the butt. So, we're in this valley in Mount City, Tennessee. The winds are a little weird. They're very light, but even a one mile an hour wind, tailwind, at 2,600 feet where we're at, where this airport is at, can mess up your launch. So, a couple people set up trying to launch downwind, crosswind, but it was messing up people's wings, including my own. I couldn't get it. I tried once and didn't get it in the air. So, we had to reset. And thank you uh, to Ross Castaway, man. Uh, he was following me around the field, helped me set up those cameras because they were shifting so often that um, it was just a pain to get the click them or undo them, drag them to a new, a new spot, you know, whatever. It takes longer. And the winds were shifting so often, you couldn't take your time setting up one direction because the winds would shift. So, anyway, we are in the air. Um, and yeah, this is just a quick test. DJI Osmo action versus the uh, Hero 7, both on a chase cam. Uh, the angle that the chase cam's looking is probably not great. Uh, they're a little heavier than what I had them set up for for my other camera, so they're probably pointing down just a little bit. Um, but hopefully the footage still works out, and hopefully we get a good comparison. The optical action is filming in 1080p30, and the Hero 7 1080p60. I'm not familiar with the DJI optical action at all. Um, so when I went to change the video settings, when I went to 1080p, it, uh, I did I wasn't able to figure out how to change the 60, just ended at 30. So I don't know if it just can't do it or if I was in some different kind of setting or what the issue was. But in any case, that's where we're at. Um, I'm doing it in 1080p because that's how I most frequently film. I don't use 4K very often. Uh, I upload to YouTube in 1080p. I'll use 4K occasionally um, if I want to do like zoom shots things like that, but that's usually just on the ground. I don't usually fly in 4K. So I don't think you get any more out of it. Um, and it takes me space and editing time, and I think it looks good enough. So, yeah, simple test. We're going to buzz around a little bit here. Um, this is the last day of the flying for me. I might, might stick around for the morning flight, but more than likely I'll go to bed tonight, wake up, pack up, and leave. Uh, miss, miss my kids, and miss my wife. So, um, that's probably what I'm going to do. But, yeah, man, uh, this flying was amazing. The Blue Shiner's flying. Um, awesome area to fly, as you can see. We did a cross-country this morning, as I mentioned before, if I put that part of the video in. But I did record this morning. Uh, I wanted to just do, like, a nice, nice cross-country flight with friends. And we went down this valley. All the way down that valley, there's a lake. And we went to the lake, went down the next valley, which I can see it's raining in right now, on the other side of these mountains. Flew down that valley, all the way around that ridge, and then landed back here, and it was amazing. Uh, it was probably five or six of us. Um, there's probably no Woody. He did a, a sat, actually ended up breaking an A-line, snapped the line while he, he was entering a sat, and he had to land out. So Ross went and got him, or flew back, went and got him. And uh, myself, Todd, and Gabe finished off the flight. Although if you ask Todd, he'll say I turned back early because I was cold. But it was like only a mile, so Todd, if you watch this, just relax. But yeah, here we go. I'm going to do a, just a little bit of acro. I don't know how the wing acts with two chase cams. It's just a little bit more drag. It's not really affecting my, my airspeed at all, obviously, but I'm not pushing it. I'm going to do just some light wing overs, and I also don't want the cameras to get tangled up. Uh, just because that could be bad news. I, I just don't want that to happen. And when you do a wing over, sometimes the cameras go weightless, and I don't know what they're going to do when they do that. So uh, I'll do a couple a couple tester uh, light wing overs, and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Oh, they're not getting tangled at all. Cool. Oh, that looks cool when I look back. I can see two cameras following 
Yeah, they do get slack though, so that's about as much of a wing over as I'm willing to do. Which, that is a wing over, so. Yeah, I don't want to do any more than that. I don't want to get slack and fall back into each other. So cool, man. By the way, there's no reason to ever fly with two chase cams. Um, I can't think of a reason. Uh, this is just for comparison purposes only. So, huge shout out and thank you to ppgsmoke.com for sending me these chase cameras to do this test. They even provided me the optimal action to do the test. Because uh, I only own the GoPro Hero 7. So, yeah, they, they sent me all the gear to do this. Uh, so, thank you to ppgsmoke.com. Not much else to talk about, really. I'm glad I got some airtime. It wasn't looking like it was going to be flyable tonight. And it doesn't look like it'll be flyable for too much longer. Well, we only got another half hour for our legal sunset. So, I'll fly until then. And uh, as long as it stays flashy smooth, which it is, it is buttery smooth up here. Um, so... I'm going to climb up a little bit, get a little bit better view, and we'll do a little wing over action on the way down. Lighting is amazing right now off this stream. It's so beautiful here. There's a lot of bugs down here though, man. My eyes are getting pelted with bugs. I can see. Oh! There's like literally. Oh! And I'm talking about that. Oh my god. Clouds of bugs. I can see them. I can see the actual clouds of bugs at this altitude, dude. Oh my god. Wow! literally had to close my eyes. They're so, they're still here, dude. I can't even see. They're hitting me in the face. Jesus. Look at, look at all stuck on my leg here. Oh. I literally could see clouds of bugs back there. And as I was talking about it, I flew into a cloud of bugs. Nasty. Ugh. Gotta fly with glasses at this airport, man. I don't want to mix up all the air for these guys, but I also want to put drag. So... Oh, right over the runway light, dude! Whoa! Nailed the launch, though. A little water foot drag. Nice. Flying right back into all the bugs. So I'm having to look down now because, seriously, a lot of bugs. Oh, I'm going up. I have never seen anything like that, ever. You literally can't even open your eyes. I was going to try to go down and get a camera or get get a view of the fly-in with the chase cam but it's too dangerous to fly there with all the bugs i don't have glasses on i don't want to get a bunch of bugs in my eyes and not be able to land so i'm gonna hang out of here it's our buddy gabe here flying uh andrew's sky flux so yeah other news andrew fuller gave me one of his uh, sky tap angel frame for my flotation testing so that's the video that's coming up we're gonna be testing various flotation devices on the market, paramotor flotation devices. Yeah, it should be a fun video. And it's a good frame to do it on because uh, it's got a quick release harness, so if anything does go wrong, which it shouldn't, I'll be jumping into a pool with people around and uh, people to help me, but uh, it's got a quick release harness, so I'll be able to be safer with the quick release and also be able to test that out and see how well it works. So that's one of the main safety features of that motor or that frame, rather, that uh, it's got that quick-release harness, so, um, yeah.
trying to catch up to Gabe that week a little quicker. I'll get him. I get him. Fly back all three of these fucking bugs. If I get, I can get below the bugs. I can see all these bugs, man. I can see them. I guess that's good. I can steer. Oh, my God. Look at them. Wow. Millions of... Oh. Yeah. This is not the flight I was looking for, as they say. of bugs up there. Dude, that's why I landed. That's why Ernie landed. Dude, there are clouds, clouds of bugs. Like, you can't even see through them. It's unbelievable. What'd you say? The bugs are swarming. Yeah, dude, they're at like 400, two, 300 feet. There's just millions of bugs. Dude, they're all in my pants. Do you need me to wipe them off? Yes, actually I'll just take them off and you can just clean it directly. <laughs> Those cameras are rolling, Todd, and I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> he got way down. That's pretty cool. Who did? You did. Oh, I did? I think you were up pretty high. You know why? Uh, bugs. bugs. <laughs> oh, it looked pretty cool when you were taking off with like, like two little RC planes following you. For me. Yeah. Cool. I, it worked out great. How's that bump situation down low, huh? Dude. <laughs> Look at my... They were... I, I literally, I was like, I'm flying. I'm like, whoa, look at all these kids here. I was like, where? I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, it's nuts. Dude, they gotta be all in my hair. But like, you climb out of it? I climbed out of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I climbed, yeah, if you go up, it's, yeah. it's, it's good. But I came in for a landing, and I was like, oh, I can see the bugs. Yeah. And I, oh, it break my face again, <laughs> man. All right, so this is the Hero 4. This is the Hero 7. the Osmo action so we'll end this on the Osmo action so um, this is the setup here pbgsmoke.com chase cam hero 7 on that one still recording hero 4 on my head because I have not set up the audio yet um, and yeah it's a good flight man um, resurgence tent this was a great weekend if this is my last flight I'm happy to wrap it up here um, great weather but seriously you could not fly there are clouds of bugs. Everyone's landing actually because of the bugs. You can't, you're flying through them, they're getting in your eyes. Um, it's, it's brutal. So um, I think everyone's, everyone's wrapping it up now and might get a morning flight in, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up and just be happy with this weekend and um, not push it. So look at this. These little sons of bitches. All right, I'm out.